There are only a few salad recipes in Philippine cuisine and this chicken macaroni salad recipe is one of those. Chicken macaroni usually makes its appearance on birthday celebrations, fiestas, picnics and other family get-togethers. Now with its mixture of elbow macaroni, chicken and selected vegetables and fruits, this chicken macaroni salad, though only a salad, leans more on the heavy side as you would have your carbohydrates and proteins in one go. Now let's look at how to make it. You need 2 cups of dry elbow macaroni, 1 cup of cooked shredded chicken, a quarter cup of grated carrots, a quarter cup of finely chopped chives, 1 third cup of diced dill pickles, a quarter cup of red bell pepper, 1 third cup of celery, 1 third cup of black olives, half a cup of mayonnaise, five tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of sugar, and lastly some salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Now in a large pot of boiling lightly salted water, cook macaroni according to package instructions. Drain and rinse under cold water to cool and then set them aside. Now in a small bowl combine your mayonnaise with milk, vinegar, mustard, sugar, salt and pepper and whisk it until it's smooth. Now place the cooked macaroni in a large mixing bowl, now put a dressing on and toss it around a bit. Stir in the chicken, carrots, chives, pickles, bell pepper, celery and olives. You can always add more of any ingredient if you feel it's needed and serve it immediately or refrigerate it until later. Now similar to other dishes that make their appearance in Filipino parties, this takes a lot of time to prepare and has lots of ingredients but you can easily make it for more people so that's why it's so popular at siestas now this recipe admittedly is a combination of chicken pineapple and macaroni mayonnaise not the sour variety and condensed milk and other ingredients also include carrots raisins and cheese now for some people this dish is an acquired taste but for the majority of filipinos the resulting salad is always a tasty hit with visitors and family. Though this is a chicken macaroni recipe, there are substitutes for the ingredients if you want to be creative with the dish. You can use another type of pasta for the elbow macaroni like penne or bow tie pasta. You can also adjust the ratio of the mayonnaise and the condensed milk whether you want the former to have the stronger taste or the latter. Whatever you do with these two condiments though, be very generous as chilling the pasta will absorb the mixture of mayonnaise and condensed milk, making the resulting dish drier when you put it in the fridge. It is also important that you put finished salads in plastic. Tupperware uh, comes to mind or you can put some saran wrap on top of the bowl or put it in a glass bowl or a container so that the mixture can be chilled well. Now I hope you all enjoy this dish at your next fiesta and remember to check out these videos as well. Bye!